So I want to show you this. Uh, this is a uh, pressure gauge attached to my hose bib. And right now it's reading about 55 PSI. And I'll tell you why that's good. That's good because formerly it was reading way over here at 90 PSI. And what I did to reduce the pressure of the house, and they tell me when I read the um, reviews online, etc., from professional plumbers, which I'm not, I'm an amateur, um, they tell me that 90 PSI can not only damage your plumbing, but your appliances and um, your sprinklers end up misting instead of shooting out regular. Here's what I just installed. This is the uh, inlet pipe. It's coming into the house. This is a shark bite regulator and that's a one inch copper pipe I put it on. I installed it up here because where it comes in in the house right here there's just not enough room. That's the inlet one, the, the red valve, the red handle on the right is the water coming into the house. So um, just to show you what this is, um, number one, the gauge I'm using is a uh, Rainbird. These are about five bucks at your home improvement store. Okay, so that's what I'm measuring the pressure with. And then number two, the um, shark bite looks like this. One inch, that was my pipe. It's an EB45 regulator. I actually wanted to get their newer model. I, well, it looks like newer to me. I'm not totally sure, but their newer model is an EB35, but it says um, they're not allowed to sell it in California on the website if you look. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but maybe there's something in it, some material or something that, um, that um, in fact, this one says in real small print right there, lead free. Maybe the other one has some small amount of lead or something in it. This is lead free right here, maybe California. I'm not sure about that. So, but this is a, a Shark Bite EB45 regulator that took um, the pressure on the house water from 90 psi down to 55 psi. Okay.